Gangs of Lagos is the first Amazon Prime original film. Get this. The first Amazon Prime original film. Of course, there are many Nigerian movies on Amazon Prime. But this is the first original film. Now, it didn't disappoint. If you haven't seen it, please do well to go and see Gangs of Lagos. Gangs of Lagos begins with a scene showing a young boy named Obalola Akonde who will grow up to become Toby Bakare, threatening to kill a woman if she refused to surrender her purse. As an Omo Aye that she is, she waved him aside with a slap. But fears gripped her as the kid puts a knife on the truth of her little daughter who was seated in the car. And so she obliged and let her purse go even offering to give the child her ring, but the child fled. This incident caused Obalola to be summoned by the leader of the streets, as the woman is an Omo Aye. As the chief said, you don't bring harm to your own kin. Due to his courage and intellect, one of the gang leaders named Nido was picked interest in him and took him in and became his father. Unfortunately, Nino dies, causing Obalola to rely on a life of crime with his friend's gifts and Ify. They start to work for a greedy and ruthless gang leader, Kazim. Things get heated when Kazim murders one of the gang leaders and pin it on Oba's friend, Ify. This accusation leads to, the, to his death, which enrages Oba and the streets members, later causing a war and bloodshed, so much destruction all over the place. A significant highlight of this film is the excellent casting choice. It was refreshing to see Adesua switch from a pretty face into a tomboy with less qualities of a man, as she would call herself a guy. Toby Bakari also delivers an award-winning performance as Obalola Akande, along with Kazim, who embodied what it takes to be a villain on the street. How can we forget the range Shaw Macho Kuka brought as she delivered a tear moving monologue when her son died? How can we also forget Yabojo, who, although appeared in a very few scenes, still able to express the fierceness that exists in a typical Nigerian mother. Tayo Faniro made us fall in love with Nilo, ignoring his shortcomings as a gang leader and a killer. We loved him, but that didn't stop us from crying when he died. The cinematography for Gangs of Lagos is good. I wouldn't say the best, but they tried. You could see a scene where Toby throws someone into a drum and by the time he kicks the drum over, the person was shielding his head. An additional ambitious cinematic part that paid off was the locations. They chose the best locations for this movie. It is remarkable to see that the movie was shot at places that can be found in the real Esalego. Lagos was really represented in this movie. Gangs of Lagos, to a certain extent, also accurately portrays what street life is, paying close attention to details that will keep viewers glued to their screen. For example, there was a lot of symbolism about the current situation of the country. Now, you could tell that this movie was almost, you know, looking as though they were talking about the current election that was just about uh, ended that just about that just ended for example the political team and the political talkery the corruption were heavily implied in this movie let's talk about the stunts and effects gangs of lagos is arguably one of the few movies with good professional execution of deeds this added to the realistic or, in my opinion, unrealistic blood effects 
yes, realistic in the sense that there was so much blood all over the place. And yeah, we could see it. But when you look at the hands of Adesua, when we are seeing the dead body of Ifi, you see it looked as though the color became so red and you couldn't tell if it was blood actually. You could tell it was maybe oil or paint that stained her hands. Oil paint at that. Gangs of Lagos are with potentials, but it still has a lot of room for improvement. The storyline appears to have been done before, although it will be hypocritical not to acknowledge the efforts to put a new spin on it. It felt like an extra dose of creativity. A few dialogues also felt bland. Either the words had little impact in the context of the situation or the delivery fell off. The idea of making Gangs of Lagos a movie is another issue. It would have been so much better as a series. There were a lot of stories that could be explored and some characters that didn't actually develop. The character of Gift, the character of Kazim, his life, his personal life and the daughter's life. Well, well they did try. Well, we can say that the gangs of Lagos did well. If you haven't seen the movie, do well to go and see the movie.